Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, May 21st, 2021. If you like supporting the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos. That really helps this channel. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we are up more than half a percent today. We didn't even touch the 20 exponential, so that is major support underneath here. It looks like we are ready to test this level that we basically was the uh, very highs in late February break above there well then we are going significantly higher we are getting uh, fairly close to the top of the bullish band so we could basically see uh, pullbacks or this just trending sideways before testing uh, these previous size if you look at technical indicators we can see that the MACD is very bullish the RSI is bullish CCI is also bullish and so is the stochastic but we are overbought at this point so we could go sideways we could also see a similar move to the downside towards the 20 exponential in order to build momentum to the upside 20 40 exponential and certainly the 50 and 100 moving average should offer massive support so let's look at the us dollar japanese yen and we they basically fell today we're down 0 0.33 percent if you look at technical indicators they are fairly bearish you can see the MACD has just crossed the signal line. That is a bearish indicator, indicator, indication. We have the RSI here, which is bearish. The CCI, is, which is also becoming bearish, minus 755, minus 100. It becomes really bearish. And then we have the stochastic here that's also bearish. We're approaching the bottom of the bullish band. We should find support at uh, 108, 534. And um, if we break below that, then we have the 100 moving average down here at 100 and and seven to the upside 109 is what we basically need to break in order to go higher so let's look at the euro the euro and us dollar we did break down yesterday and then rally today we're up 0 0.37 uh, percent we are approaching the top of the bullish band yet again so we are also on the edge of being overbought other indicators are very bullish so a pullback towards the 20 exponential or uh, this, uh, um, which is now support line, uh, that could be possible in order to gain momentum to go higher. But the 20 and also the 150 moving average down here and the 40 exponential should offer massive support. So there are a few areas of interest. For example, we have these previous highs here, which we basically tested, 12.25, break above that. Well, that opens the door to give or take 12 30 35 so if we break above that then we are going significantly higher so aussie dollar us dollar well we're just going sideways we are not breaking down we have massive amount of support underneath it does especially the 150 moving average and we're not rallying to the upside so if we manage to break above uh, 0 0.78 then we are most likely going to 0 0.78 90 and then probably to probably towards 80 but we have been trading sideways for nearly a month now. So yes, it's a waiting game at this at this point. Technical indicators are also fairly flat, as, as, uh, except for the stochastic, which is very bearish at this point. So US dollar, Canadian dollar. We did rally up towards the 20 exponential, and then we gave all of those gains back. Rallies at this point could be expected. Main reason is that we are getting really... Um, overstretched here in the at the bottom usually when you uh, when we have stayed at a certain point we have basically broken down now we're also staying at a certain point we're not breaking down then this could mean that we'll rally up towards the very top here at the 50 moving average technical indicators are still very bearish so um, that can take quite a long time if we were to break below here then we are going to see this drop significantly further to the downside we are trading within this channel we are still in this downtrend and it has been the case that we have rallied towards the top held and then broken down and then held and then gone back up so that could be a plausible move um going forward so hope you find this helpful you will support the channel by subscribing hit the like button the bell button to see our new videos and good luck and thank you very much